What is the cause of the cosmos? Is it Brahman? From where do we come? By what do we live? Where shall we find peace at last? What power governs the duality of pleasure and pain by which we are driven? Time, nature, necessity, accident, elements, energy, intelligence. None of these can be the first cause. They are effects whose only purpose is to help the self rise above pleasure and pain. In the depths of meditation, sages saw within themselves the Lord of love, who dwells in the heart of every creature. Deep in the hearts of all he dwells, hidden behind the gunas of law, energy, and inertia. He is one. He it is who rules over time, space, and causality. The world is the wheel of God, turning round and round with all living creatures upon its rim. The world is the river of God flowing from him and flowing back to him. On this ever revolving wheel of life, the individual self goes round and round through life after life, believing itself to be a separate creature until it sees its identity with the Lord of love and attains immortality in the indiv indivisible whole. He is the eternal reality, sing the scriptures, and the ground of existence. Those who perceive him in every creature merge in him and are released from the wheel of birth and death. The Lord of love holds in his hand the world, composed of the changing and the changeless, the manifest and the unmanifest. The separate self, not yet aware of the Lord, goes after pleasure, only to become bound more and more. When it sees the Lord, there comes an end to its bondage. Conscious spirit and unconscious matter both have existed since the dawn of time, with Maya appearing to connect them, misrepresenting joy as outside us. When all these three are seen as one, the self reveals his universal form and serves as an instrument of the divine will. All is change in the world of the senses, but changeless is the supreme Lord of love. Meditate on him, be absorbed in him. Wake up from this dream of separateness. No God and all fetters will fall away. No longer identifying yourself with the body, go beyond birth and death. All your desires will be fulfilled in him who is one without a second. Know him to be enshrined in your heart always. Truly, there is nothing more in life to know. Meditate and realize that this world is filled with the presence of God. 
Fire is not seen until one fire stick rubs against another, though the fire remains hidden in the fire stick. So does the Lord of love remain hidden in the body until he is revealed through the mystic mantram. Let your body be the lower fire stick. Let the mantram be the upper. Rub them against each other in meditation and realize the Lord. Like oil in sesame seeds, like butter in cream, like water in springs, like fire in fire sticks, so dwells the Lord of love, the self, in the very depths of consciousness. Realize him through truth and meditation. The self is hidden in the hearts of all, as butter lies hidden in cream. Realize the self in the depths of meditation, the Lord of love, supreme reality, who is the goal of all knowledge. This is the highest mystical teaching. This is the highest mystical teaching. <laughs>